Welcome to Clear Play, powered by Typical Sportsbook. I'm your host, Tony Anderson. And with the NBA draft coming up, we got a chance to speak with NBA prospect Kofi Coburn. And he talked to us about his transition from growing up in Jamaica to preparing for the NBA draft. Kofi Coburn, Wagwan, my youth, Wagwan. What's up, man? How you doing? Good, good. How you feeling, man? I, I got to talk to you about growing up in Jamaica and obviously being from Jamaica, excuse me, and growing up in New York. Talk to me about basketball and when you actually started playing. I mean, you know, a lot of my friends from Jamaica run track, and they're heavy in soccer. You know, basketball isn't as big in Jamaica, but you've excelled at it. When were you introduced to the game of basketball, Kofi? Definitely, man. And, 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 and soccer and track was actually my, my favorite sports growing up, you know. Um, just having the availability, um, you know, everyone plays that sport. And, you know, just, the, just that being the dominant sport in Jamaica. I actually started playing organized basketball when I came to the U.S. in 2015, um, in September. Um, it was introduced to me by my brother, my older brother. He always played the game. Um, he had a great passion for it. And, you know, I, I just started going, getting taller and taller. And then eventually he told me that, yo, this might be what you need to do. You know, I started um, messing around with him, playing with him at the parks, um, you know, Got introduced to his coach. His coach, um, you know, introduced me to some guys in New York. Um, my mom was living there at the time. She still lives there now. I um, mean, you know, and that, that's where it started. So when you came to New York, did you support an NBA team? And if so, who? You no, know, when I first came here, you know, I was supporting the Cavaliers. You know, I love I love LeBron James growing up. You know, so Kofi LeBron is still doing his thing. Can you imagine actually playing with the King? It would mean a lot, you know, just to, just to be able to share the floor with someone that special, you know, and someone that talented and dedicated, you know. You watch him and you see how great that guy is, you know, on and off the court, you know. And that's that's definitely somewhere, someone that I can see myself becoming, you know, someone that is, is an advocate for, for, my, for his community and someone that, that creates positivity wherever I go, you know, someone that people could talk talk about for um, generations, you know. So it would, be, it would be really special for me to share the court with, with someone like him. Kofi, when did you know that this is something that you could do for a living? Definitely, um, definitely my sophomore year of high school. Um, after my AAU, my first AAU um, year, um, summer, after, that's, that's the, summer after my, the summer after my freshman year, going into my sophomore year. You know, um, people started telling me, yo, well, you're really good. You got way better in, in, in a short period of time. And, you know, people just kept telling me that, yo, you have, you have potential, but you can make it, you know. And then that's when I really started locking in, like, yo, this could be something that I do for a living, you know, something that I love. So one of my favorite players of all time is Patrick Ewing. He obviously is from Jamaica. Who were some guys that you looked up to playing basketball? And was it Patrick Ewing or, or other Jamaican players, or was it just primarily American players? American players, um, dudes like Shaquille, Shaquille O'Neal. I mean, if you watch me, you could, you could definitely see um, the how identical our games are, you know, we're just being dominant and just like trying to dunk everything and this progression, you know. Definitely grew up watching him and Kobe, you know. We, we in Jamaica, we get stuff late sometimes, you know, so when I was growing up, it was old school games that I was watching. I was watching those old school guys like like Hakeem, you know, um, all those old guys like Shaq, like I said earlier, you know, and Karl Malone and those guys. So who would you say you, you pattern your game most after? Is it Shaq? Is it Hakeem? Who would Kofi say he patterns his game after? It's funny, man, because I, 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 I don't necessarily pattern my game off, um, off anybody. Um, I, I just try to watch. I'm going to try to learn. Um, you know, I try to, like, add parts of everybody's game to my, to my game. You know, I, I just try to excel in and do what I do. You know, I try to personalize my game um, to, 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 so people, when people see it, they can say, that's Kofi's game. I don't necessarily think of somebody else. I try to be authentic and try to be myself. Kofi, talk to me about the decision to actually declare for the draft. I mean, was it difficult for you or was it a no-brainer? It was a no-brainer. Um, you know, um, you, if, if you know me, you know that I'm, I'm a guy that like, I like to use my platform, and a lot of people see me as, as a basketball player, and I, um, they don't realize uh, how much further it is, you know, how much more it is, you know. I see the NBA, and I'm, I see opportunity, you know, opportunity to, 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 um, to take advantage of a lot of things. Would you like to get drafted at a certain place, or would you like to go undrafted, go wherever team you want? What's an ideal situation for Kofi? The ideal situation for me is it has nothing to do with the draft. My ideal situation is being able to have a job and being able to go out there and prove a lot of people wrong, being able to put myself in a position where I could excel and be the best me, you know. Kofi, it sounds like your goals to do positive things off the court are just important for you on the court. Talk to me about the partnership that you have with Dove and the things that you're going to do off the court. Yeah, man, like I said, man, I think the main thing that, that I'm doing with Dove Men's Plus Care right now is just basically um, making people aware of the stereotypes that, that that's out there with, with the young black athletes, um, that they're just athletes and just 
basically using my voice and my platform to you know go out in these communities and being able to use like I say use my voice and like be something else be being more than an athlete you know being an advocate for young guys you know that that, that, that basically go, go through struggles that I went through when I was younger you know like that don't have certain um, necessities or don't have certain like you know advantages to, to, to be successful you know so just being able to show people that yo we play basketball but we're way more than that. It's, 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 we have, we're, we're human beings too. We have, we have thoughts. We have a wide imagination. Who is Kofi and what is something that people haven't asked you that you want to talk about? I'm a person that, you know, that grew up in, um, grew, grew up in, 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 in the tough life. You know, I've, I've seen it. I've seen struggles, pain. You know, I've seen heartbreak. I've seen heartache, heartache all that stuff, you know, like just growing up where I'm from. And I was able to overcome it, you know, with just the love and support that my family showed me, my family and my mentors, the people around me, you know. So I, I'm, I'm way bigger than, than what most people think. Most people see me and they think, oh, basketball player from, um, from Jamaica, he's trying to go to the NBA, he's trying to make a living. Like, my, my thing stretched further than that. You know, God has blessed me and given me a lot of opportunities that a lot of kids haven't gotten, and I want to be able to share that, you know, and give them the chance that I got. Thanks so much, Kofi. Now, make sure you get your NBA draft bets in at Tipico. Hey sports fans, if you want to learn more about sports betting, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget, for tips and analysis, make sure you go to betforthewin.com.